Greetings! Welcome back to Fable. Fable. <laughs> God damn it! We have some new books for our dear Samuel here. Wait, which one? Man, you've read that at the castle. Yes. I can't wait to have a read. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. And another one goes he right here. Reaver's autobiography. Yep. Oh, marvelous. I shall enjoy reading that tonight with a glass of milk and a digestive. No doubt it'll be full of salacious ribaldry. I can't wait. Oh, and good work, by the way. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. Mm -hmm. or anything like that. Of course not. Okay, so we need to find four more books before we can get the last one. Actually, I might go... Wait, do we have any golden key that's free? We may go here first to get that one. Oh, I don't really know what I, what I want to do. Okay, you know what? We still have a day to end, so... We'll go back to our castle. Oh, you doing that on purpose. I'm at your command. Of course you are. Okay, and if I remember correctly. Nice oh, to see you, give me that. Ah, your Majesty. Thank you. Gotcha. Your Majesty. Way out of here. It's the great ruler. I might get lost. I am. Um, no? Yes? I don't know? Greetings, sir. Pretty sure there should be a way out. Oh, you. Hello, what the hell? Do we have it fully? Okay, I'm gonna. Actually, let's check it out. And let's open the present. It's nice. But, yeah, is it fully created now? No. Wait, I don't have. No, I don't have this one equipped. I have this one equipped, okay. Drug 10 criminals, oh my god. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get it. It's 96 and 105, and for this we need to get fatter. That's all. I will equip this one. Yeah, unless I can find some better weapon. Damn it, so I'll have <sighs> da, 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 damn it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Because we are looking for a silver key. That's somewhere uh, somewhere inside this garden if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. That's it. That's the whole point. Oh, noble one. Maybe you're the one who can save He's somewhere there. Although more than likely you'll just fail miserably. Yep, he is right here. Hello there, your majesty. Okay, we only need eleven more. That's actually very nice. And I can see the key already. Yes, I know the key. Thank you. Oh, come on. Okay, so I didn't find the third golden key. Oh, that's bollocks. There's a, oh, there's another gnome. Wait, there's another quest? 
Or is this about the, the weight of the world? Okay. I wonder what the last one is. Have to keep them, our eyes open. Maybe it's in the catacombs. Maybe. So before we uh, go to the f to the throne room, I would oh his portrait. Hey, I would go there first. Mm -hmm. Just to check it out, this place wasn't too big, so it shouldn't be a problem. I hope it's this like it's the same area. No. Oh my god. Please talk to me. Come on, say something. Okay, we'll just sprint through here. Yep. Oh, the fuck! <laughs> I did not expect them here. Oh no. no. Oh, there's another chesty. Was it here before or no? Don't think so. Oh god damn you there was no one there. Why would you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> No, you don't. Stay back. Stay back. Come on. Thank you. Hmm. That's always nice. Sure is a beautiful day. Except where you're standing. Shut up. Okay, and actually let me check it. There's no so Golden key here, no, no, and I cannot check the Aurora, right? Yeah, I think it's somewhere there. Since it's nowhere else to be found. Found. Okay, so let's go back to the castle. Since we're done with keys and gnomes, we can attend to our business. Even though I don't like it. I don't like it. No, not one bit. At your order, sir. sir. All stand to attention for the King of Albion. Are you going somewhere or what? Hail and well met, your most gracious knight. Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Okay. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You vowed to fight poverty, but our actions have made the problem worse. You must act now. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumph. But as its name subtly implies, it was old. The cost of rebuilding the area would be a colossal waste of money, and the people who called its decrepit shambles of streets and houses their home are better off without it. Besides, 
things. One must question what they have to offer our society. Why build homes for the inept and the unskilled? I recommend you reject Page's proposal and keep the money for more deserving endeavors. It was our actions that caused the devastation, Your Majesty. But the final decision rests with you. And actually, you should remember that River used to be one of four heroes. So I don't know why he, why everyone hate. I know why everyone hates him so much, but why no one acknowledges that? And by the way, I sh don't. I wonder whether I should even let him speak because we know what I'm gonna do. We destroyed the old quarter. It's only right we rebuild it. The king has reached his decision. The old quarter shall be rebuilt and its former residents will have their homes returned. Thank you. Wait, it was five million? This will be a very popular move. Okay. Oh, I suppose there may be something to be gained by rebuilding part of the city. It shows our sense of industry has not yet been dampened. Very well, Your Majesty. Oh well. Despite the current climate of fear and great national need, Riva Industries has once again struck a blow for the honest man on the street. The sad sight of the decayed and war-torn old quarter is no more. We are proud to present the new old quarter. If it works, if it works, okay. No, I don't know why it showed me that I was I had less gold than I do. Is there a more beautiful strange than a big pile of gold? <laughs> Forgive me the rhetorical question. In any case, we are certainly doing well, but we are still short of the target. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of safety on our streets and are calling for more guards than your brother was ever willing to pay for. You have three choices, your majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft and contraband. Mm. Increase the budget and fill the streets with soldiers keeping the peace. A rather costly solution, or take a more considered approach by lowering the budget. For what is the point of a safe, well-policed kingdom when it is too poor to protect itself from certain annihilation? Of course I'm gonna raise the budget. The people will be delighted, your majesty. But will they thank you when they are dead? Not unless they are turned into some sort of awful zombie creatures. <sighs> We're gonna manage, okay? Trust me about that. Happen, is it? Anyway, this will leave a sizable gap in the treasury. It won't. You cover the expenses out of your own pocket. I'm afraid we shall be in dire straits indeed. Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. It was the last thing, no? Oh, okay, it's so that. This is another day. Huh. Embark on a journey of adventure and exploration. Yes, that's it, finally! Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. Okay. And it's through here. And the Red. God, why is it locked? Hmm. Because I knocked it out of. At your service. Why would you lock door in my castle? What's up there? Oh no, I we've been there already. Hello, how are you? Today you decide on the decor of the castle. 
two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design in mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. You are an enlightened king. Let the heart of your castle be enlightened too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Do you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I am Sybil Maleficent, Your Majesty, and I can tell you that people respect what they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. I propose that we flood the rooms and corridors with blood, or at least a suitable paint substitute. Let all those who look upon this palace know terror, whether they be your subjects or your enemies. It may seem trivial, but appearances can affect the opinion of the entire kingdom. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I wish this to be an enlightened castle. Oh, fabulous, Your Majesty, fabulous! Your castle will be a vision of purity. And what's more, fashion and good taste must choke down their nausea. Don't talk to me when there's loading screen, please. Kaylin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion. Now it is time we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. But surely they must work for that privilege, and I happen to know just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran Desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaelin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. Oh, do you? Do you? Understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. Oh, of course I'm not gonna break the promise. I'm a good guy. My promise. Aurora will become part of Albion, and its people will be our equals in every way. Just look at my face. King it's a baby face. <laughs> the shall be rebuilt as part of Albion and equal to every other part of the kingdom. Thank you, Majesty. You have proven to be a man of honor. Aurora is proud to stand at your side. Okay. Finally, we can get out of the castle. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora, an oasis of friendship. Camaraderie and many other lovely things. Visit the city that Reva Industries rebuilt from sand, stone, and corpses. Enjoy the sunshine, the odd local customs, and the heavy soldier presence. Aurora, a light blooming in the darkness. Yay! Let me, let me out of the castle, please. Let me out a most the Aurora. Decision in court today, Your Majesty. Aurora might have proven to be a rather profitable resource, but I'm sure we can find other means of filling the treasury. As a matter of fact, we could already have stumbled upon such an opportunity. 
Aurora may not turn out to be a waste after all. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals and understandably set out to find it without a moment's regard for their own lives. Mm. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed Speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure, think of the glory of the mm -hmm. the adventure, oh. the romance, the large romance? sums of money we stand to make. What? The diamond is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. Not again. <laughs> you only to take it. Okay. And finally, is there something else? This is a star. No, there's. I'm still waiting for one quest for meal fields to appear. Oh, God damn it! I don't know why it's not here. I always check. Can I buy those? God damn it! Okay, but we have the there's one quest, two gnomes, and two silver keys, and one demon door. Look, we can reach the mortal convictions. I don't quite remember when you can buy houses in a war. Just don't. This flower. At your command. Green flower. Hello, do you are you the one that requires me to leave all my silver keys? It's it has to be Yes. You are so holy and completely noble. Yep. You virtually glow. Thank you. In fact, you actually glow. Oh. You're an angel. And I applaud your commitment to your chosen morality. Well done. Thank you. That was fast. Okay, so it wasn't the demon door that requires me to give up all my silver keys in order to open. Moral view. So if I'm evil, then does it mean that this becomes evil as well? Hmm. Ava's lamentation. <laughs> this one's Ava's tear was in the first game. Nice. A si okay, a sister to the legendary Ava's tear. This weapon was forged at the same time but was lost for centuries. Okay, let's check it out. That's not it. Nope. Four. Increase moral standing. Make five villagers love you and kill 150 hollow men. Shock damage and kill is faster than was evil enemies. Well, that's gonna be. Yep. It's gonna be it. Oh my god, even though we have. Our other sword nearly done. God damn it. Okay, but at least now I don't need. Why just stab or shoot your enemies when you can set them on fire? And, uh, oh, actually, I wanted to check my. Remember, because I still keep for this one. I need to get fatter. Okay, that can be done. I need to run. <laughs> Wait. I remember. A skilled shooter can hit targets at significant range and inflict considerable damage. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm gonna buy thing. Hmm, okay. And um, I want to say, I remember. Oh, I wanted to check the demon door in morning wood because I'm not sure whether you need to have a, a whoa, fully upgraded weapon or all you need. All you need to have is a some kind of legendary weapon, which I would say Avo's Lamentation is or should be. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna check that real fast. We'll be right back in Aurora. Uh, and if that's not the case, then I'll. Uh, switch back to my previous sword to get it done. Do you like my sword? All right. Now keep that up and see if I ever open your crazed swinger of unimpressive weapons. Really? I don't think that's impressive. Oh, I can see that weapon has done some killing. Yes, I'm sure you once laid it down on a table. Okay, okay. I get it. No. Okay, I've got it. <laughs> I need to fully upgrade one weapon in order. He was somewhere here, right? You should go somewhere nice and peaceful. Like a cemetery. Um. Okay. What do you want? Oh, thank you. Ruby. That's nice. Nice. Still not. Okay, I can buy houses now. Apparently. Okay, so let's start from this one. We'll buy all of them real fast. So we can earn even more. And we're gonna make sure everyone's safe. Okay. Don't really care about prices that much. Yes, I wanna buy that. Thank you. This one, and I hope that after buying it cost me 300, so I cannot really. Oh, the price went up, it actually did. Okay, now where am I? Might be kind of lost. Okay, I think I know which way to go. No, we need to find that open demon door. Can I pick it up? Nope. I can't get on the other side, so I assume I cannot get that plant. Oh, you have something for me. Thank you. Hello to you, your majesty. Hello to you too. I keep on looking sideways. Make sure I don't I'm not missing anything. Oh 
so something here there is it's a silver key yeah now the one we have 38 38 silver keys that's nice okay I suppose I'm supposed to, I've wait, I think I'm supposed to go the other way this is precisely why I'm gonna go here first you know what and you know what we will go get the diamond tomorrow for now stay safe and see you soon